Well, hello gang, and welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. If I'm not mistaken, that last video was episode 20. I think that's the most episodes of any game I've ever recorded without starting to upload. And we probably have quite a ways to go. So let's see what's going else. what else is going on in Mori's here. This place might be small, but we've got everything here. Like honor and glory to satisfy your wildest dreams. Look around, enjoy, take as much time as you want. I think we will, because the only thing in front of us is Trodane's Castle, which I'm not too thrilled about. I have uh, remnants of old memories of that place in my brain, and I don't, I don't much care about those, those little flashes of the past I'm having. Victory just comes down to luck in the end, but you can steer luck to your advantage. Persistent training and solid tactics will pave the way to glory. What about you, old man? I'll let you in on a little secret, lad. I've got more than 60 scouts working for me out there, finding monsters for this tournament. Mind you, I still don't get the feeling I'm going to win. I'm in danger of bankrupting myself at this rate. Mori hasn't brought anyone new here for ages. I wonder if you've got what it takes. Oh, I'm so excited I can hardly contain myself. Well, uh, I don't know if we've got what it takes. There's a lot of monsters out there. I don't know if we'll be able to hunt down all the good ones. Like, look at that son of a bitch down there. A giant golem. And all we've got is what? A slime? An octopus with a baby's rattle? You're not leaving here already, are you? No! You don't want to go before you've had some fun. Of course you don't. You just can't. No, no, no. You just go and have a word with Mori, all right, darling? Then you and me can have a nice little natter. I don't know what the hell a natter is. I've never heard that one before. I'm busy. Don't bother me unless you're in trouble. I released more than 40,000 gold coins from the estate to purchase a skull rider from a monster scout. Yet the results are most unsatisfactory. I suppose there must be a problem with the composition of the team. So is this like some type of Pokemon thing? I was living on Vegas Alley and Pick'em this time last year. But now look at me. I got loads of dosh. I've got Mori to think for that. He could see I had talent. I owe the charmer, that's for sure. Mori's own Mori is the only man in the whole world who could revive dead monsters. Yeah, he's quite something. Hey Mori, what's going on? Are you gonna tell me what's What's up here? It's obviously some type of cockfighting monster tournament. I'm not against it at all. Hi. You be amazed, eh? This is what I wanted to show you. Senor, can you feel it? The sights, the sounds, the smells! Are you not pumped? Sunday, Sunday, oh, Sunday. <laughs> the MMP is in town. Mori! I thought that name is our little secret. Don't go telling the whole world. That little punk is recording it for YouTube. You know at least maybe 50 people are gonna see it. Excuse me, my flower. Yes, this height. The sounds, the smells. Over the monster arena. <laughs> ah. I really prefer Mori's monstrous pit. The rules are simply simple. This is a place of monster combattimento. Teams of the three monsters fight heads to heads. 
Oh dear. There are seven different ranks for your team to try, eh? And this is all you need to know. It's simple, no? Sure. So, Signor, you are wanting your own team, eh? Well, I didn't know what I was getting into when I came here, Mori, but it got me interested. I do want my own team. <laughs> I knew you would say yes. But the rules say you will need the 200,000 gold pieces. What? <laughs> no! Now you know why this place is full of the rich people, eh? <laughs> so, senor, can you pay the money? No, I can't. I barely have 2,000 right now. So, I do you wrong. I should never have asked you such a question. It's good. You should be sorry. I explain what I mean. Also, you invited me here, asshole. The 200,000 gold pieces you need for to have your own monster team. I will make the payment for you. That's better. But, naturalmente, I not give it to you without no wires attached, eh? There are conditions. You must swear this one thing. Okay. You must swear to fight your way to the very top of the monster arena. What do you say? Can you swear it? Do you have what it takes? Can you conquer my monstrous feet? Oh, man. I don't know. This is tough. I mean, we've got to swear here. This is pretty serious. He didn't, he didn't just ask us if we could do it. He asked us to swear to it. I don't know, guys. I, you know, in front of Mori, in front of you, can I do it before I beat the game and end the series? Is it possible? He did say there was only seven tiers, right? I think we can do it. I don't think we're gonna say no. Mori, we can conquer your monstrous pit. For the end of this series. Then it is decided. Senor, from this moment, you are the owner of your very own monster team. Oh yeah. Plump becomes a monster team owner. There you have it. So, let's get straight down to business, eh? Okay. First, you will need a good, strong name for your team. An intense name that shows the, the, the passion. Let's see. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, you want to name your own team? Oh, geez, this is tough. So, you want to choose your own name? Eh, let's see what you got, eh? It must be 18 letters or less. Oh, man, I wasn't expecting to have to come up with a name for my team. What would I name my team? I think it's going to be pretty simple. It's probably not very clever. It never is. I'm, I don't like puns, okay? It's just simply going to be... If I, can, if I can fit it in there... The Mushroom Squad. Even though we won't always be staffed with mushrooms. Okay. Mushroom Squad. That's your name? Where is the forza, the bravado, the passion, eh? Oh, never mind. It will do. I was half tempted to let him name my squad just for the hell of it, but I don't think we really get that off. We, we don't get to choose names very often, so might as well do it. So, Signor, you have named your team. Now, you must think of the team members. At first, your team will consist of the three monsters you found for me. Lonely Joe, Squiggles, and the Smiles. Okay. But, of course, you will never reach the top of Mori's monstrous pit with such a team. I didn't think so. They were pretty much pushovers. 
You need to find the stronger monsters during your travels to make your team better. And remember this. The strength of the monsters in the team is also affected by the strength of the team owner. That's... N I don't... I don't like that mechanic. But that doesn't mean you will have the strong team just by being the strong owner. Okay, as long as that's not the most important thing. And the monsters are not like the humans, no. They don't get no stronger by fighting more. In some other words, if you want your team to be better, you must swap the team members for the stronger monsters. That's right. Your mission is to search the world for powerful monsters. Add them to your team and make it stronger. That's straightforward enough. It's not exactly like Pokemon. Thankfully, we don't have to, on top of leveling up our main characters, we don't also have to level up a group of monsters. Be the ultimate team and rise to the very top of my monstrous pit. That is the thrill, the ecstasy of the Monster Arena! The ecstasy of the Monster Arena! Okay, I got it. Uh, Maury, I think everyone heard you loud and clear the first time, darling. Okay? Ah, <laughs> scusi, scusi. <laughs> I just thought it needed more gusto. But anyway, you will need these. I like Mori. I can agree with him. What do we receive? The Monster Arena Key. Now you can enter in the arena whenever you want and take part in the Championato of my Monstrous Pit anytime you like. Go and talk to the man at the center counter whenever you want to enter the pit. Okay. But if you want to be smart, you talk to some people and get the information first, eh? I look forward to seeing your gusto. Senor, buona fortuna. Oh, man. We've got a lot of backtracking to do to hunt down monsters and stuff now. This is a uh, quiet turn of events. I haven't seen Mori in such a good mood for ages. And to think, he's been moaning recently that he can't find people at Talon anymore. I don't know, isn't it funny? I know. You know too. No, I don't know. Alright, then I'll tell you. Having strong monsters in your team can make the team better. But it takes more than just strong monsters to win. You've got to try lots of different combos to get the most out of your team. Like putting three of the same family of monsters together and stuff like that. That's what Grandpa told me. Damn. This is far more in-depth than I thought it was going to be. Don't bother me unless you're in trouble. The furthest I've ever managed to get is the second round of rank D. Mind you, that was more than ten years ago now. My money just doesn't seem to buy me strong monsters these days. I'm too old to go get my own. All these wealthy people from around the world gather together in this little place in the middle of nowhere. It's the last great honor all the rich ones want, you see? To be the owner of the strongest monster team in the world. But where's the prize counter? Oh, I haven't seen you before. And I see you've got a key to the arena. So Mori invited you in here then, did he? Yeah, that he did. Welcome to the Monster Arena registration counter. Would you like to send your team into the Monster Arena? I even have to pay for it. That's great. Sure. So without further ado, it's time to get it on! gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank G Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. 
In the red corner, we have Yangus's monster team. Mushroom Squad, a.k.a. the Newbies. In the blue corner, captained by Grimy, we have the Slimies. It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. Okay, two she slimes and a slime knight. Squiggles, get your shit together. Now is not the time to draw. Draw in the dirt. Are you joking me? Hmm. Smiles. Kind of disappointed in you. But at the same time, you are a slime. So, ultimately, it's my fault. Rest in peace, you son of a bitch. You slimy scumbag. You made a great meat shield for the rest of the team. No, Squiggles, come back. Holy crap, 30 damage? We have a winner! They're the newbies! It's Mushroom Squad! Congratulations to Yangus! I don't even want to try the next tier. Oh, I don't have a choice. We're gonna... The fans are going absolutely wild! Have to try anyways. Now, it's time for round two of the Rank G Contest! The teams are ready to go! The fans are ready to go! Heck! I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner, we have Yangus's monster team. In the blue corner, captained by Gracie, we have Team Face Off. That's actually a really clever name. It's a historic hoedown of a showdown. Let's get it on. What do you mean, hoedown? Are we dancing? Did I miss something? Is this Yeehaw and I didn't know? And we don't get to heal up between matches. Wonderful. We're going to need... So we've got to go through this every single time. I see. I see how it is. I can't choose a way either. Who knows what the hell that even does. Oh, man. We have a winner! It's Team Face-Off! Congratulations to Gracie. Yingus' team is going to be thrown into the Soylent machine. Bad luck. Maybe things will go your way next time. Well, you fight a nice a game, senor. It, you make the good challenge, I. Right? You don't feel sad just because you lose, okay? You have to lose to make the team stronger. And I have given the life back to your dead team members. Don't be throwing away the towel. I am waiting with the bad breath for your next battle, senor. So you tell me there's no rewards unless I beat all of it? However, the, however rich the people in this place are, there's no one here who can look down their nose at Mori. He runs the show after all, and he's the owner of the strongest monster team in the world. That's right, Mori alone awaits at the top to challenge you. Yeah, go on! Give it some welly! I don't even know what welly is, but okay. Well, I honestly don't know how often we'll be coming back here. Mm hmm. Like, is there any merchant to buy things with? Do I get anything? For, uh. For completing rounds? Is it just a feel good thing? 
I was expecting to get something for beating the first tier, but geez, we didn't even we didn't even get a mini medal or anything. That's not what I wanted to cast, but whatever. Um, let's go to the hilltop hut. We're gonna rest, heal up. It's tempting to spend the rest of this video running around and maybe trying to capture some monsters. But what would be the point? They're not going to be the strongest monsters. We'll just capture the ones that we run that we run across. And uh check out the fights every once in a while. Fuck this pot in particular. I didn't like the way it was looking at me, Gov. Thought it might have been one of them... Damon pots. Just waiting to jump up and bite us. Trodane Castle. Oh, man. Creepy-ass vines blocking the doorway. Any budget at all? Hmm. We can't get in like this. Jessica, can you get rid of these thorns with some of your hocus pocus? Your hocus pocus. I guess I can give it a try. Let's see. She can cast fire. me to get rid of all of them okay why not we'll just go back and sleep at the inn that's not too far from here and then you you can burn the rest of them my magic may be powerful but it's not that powerful it might be how do we know until we try jeez knock down walls blew out windows oh my Oh, castle. It used to be so beautiful, but now it's in ruins. And it's all because of Dool Magus' evil curse. That's when our journey began. And the castle's secret treasure was plundered. I'm curious what exactly that secret treasure was. I'm not sure it's been completely explained. We know Dulmeg has grabbed a staff or something. I gotta change the graphic mode here. Flashbacks are special. Ah, there you are, princess. I know you like to look at the stars, but it's a little chilly to be outside. Perhaps you should retire to your chamber. Of course, father. I'll come right away. I like how they don't let us see their face. What's this? What's going on? Are you asleep on the job? Please call a doctor. Call a doctor. Speak to me. I command you. Tell me what happened here. Your Majesty. S somebody. The sealed chamber. Uh, the sealed chamber? But surely no one would... Intruder may still be up there. It's too dangerous for you to go alone. Yes, but what if... I can't just stand by and let someone steal it. I'm the goddamn king! I know. So I'll go with you. I don't know. Well, if there's no other alternative... You 
you. What do you think you're doing? I forbid you to touch that scepter. Why, if it isn't King Troll and Princess Mare Dia, <laughs> I didn't expect you to find me. But what's done is done. Tell me, is this scepter as powerful as people say? You're that jester. You came to my castle so you could steal the scepter? <laughs> well deduced. You save me the bother of explaining myself, your majesty. I heard all about it. About a legendary magical scepter sealed deep inside Castle Tredane, and about how it could bestow ultimate magical powers. With this, nothing can stop me from becoming the greatest magician of all time. Then, I'll have my revenge on those scornful snobs who made a fool of me. Stop! That scepter must never leave this castle! <laughs> Nothing can stop me. I see no reason to delay this any further. Time to unleash its true power. King Trold, you! will be my first guinea pig. Father, look out! Hmm. Is that the best it can do? The mare I can see, but you look more like a toad than a troll to me. Ah, but wait. The magic circle here must be restricting its full powers. <laughs> if I can take it away from here, I'll see what it can really do. Come, precious scepter. Show me your true power. What incredible magic. Perfect! So powerful, I can't control it! on earth? Why didn't I get changed into some type of weird plant person? Did I just get lucky? Was I in a dead zone? That day, we were inside the magic circle, but you weren't. How did you manage to survive? I... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was just luck? You've always been a lucky one. Oi, Gav! 
What are you and the old codger jabbering on about back there, eh? Ain't we supposed to be swatting up on that ship? Come on, get a move on. Uh, uh, yes, of course. The castle library should be just over there. Is it really going to be that easy to reach? Castle Trodane. Our home. Before this happened. Before Dual Magus came. Before the curse. There's no response. The scholar is completely motionless. As if dead. The library is behind this door. But it's quite impossible to get through like this. But there is another way into the library from within the castle. We shall have to use that entrance. I knew it wasn't going to be as easy as just walking over to the library. I oh, monsters. A dragon thorn appears. Fuck me. Not too thrilled about that. I forgot that there was actually combat here. At least my teammates... At least she put it to sleep, or somebody did. The dragon thorn is defeated. Hmm. We have to fully explore this place, because somebody did hint that there was some type of magic key here. There's no response. But he's warm to the touch, so he doesn't seem to be dead. Jessica, we need you to melt those vines. Probably can't go up that way. Hey, look, there's a door there. I wonder what's on the other side of it. We find a map of Castle Trodane. Okay. Doesn't really fucking help me, but whatever. At least it looks neat. What about in here? This is a little bit more useful. So if we go right, there's a whole bunch of stuff to explore. Which means we naturally need to go left first. Explore the dead ends. Or the areas that look like dead ends first. Before you start branching off into the paths that are like four to five branching paths deep. Hopefully we can get rid of some of the monsters, but I doubt it. Wait a second. This just goes to its own little room, okay. A bunch of wailing weeds appear. Doing karaoke on their microphones I don't like these type of monsters by the way I think they have charm spells if I'm not mistaken sings in heavenly strains these ones can revive each other that makes me even less happy than if they had simple charms. You kill that one? Thank you. Uh, 365 experience. It's like, how many cycles can I get myself stuck in combat? I'm kind of curious. We find a magic key and put it in the bag. Well, there's that key. It can probably be used absolutely everywhere opens any treasure chest. Any mini miny mo. What do we got? A Templar's sword. Hmm. It's tempting to give that to Plump. A, re a rapier carried by Templar knights is proof of their status. Hmm... 
No. It's an increase of six offense for Angelo, but he would lose all of the awesome archery stuff that he's got. A magic beast hide. Okay. There's those monster hides for the alchemy pot. That we haven't found anywhere else yet. A gold bracer. Pretty sure that's just... I don't know why I always go over to magic. I'm pretty sure that's what, just a minor defense boost? Got an accessory. You've got an accessory. You've got an accessory. Sure, there's nothing else to bust up in here. There's no response. The merchant sleeps like the dead. I don't think there's any real point in actually talking to these plant people. Maybe we'll find one that we can harvest tears off of or something. Hey, what's this? There's no response. The curse has made the cat bloom into a flower. Aww. That's so cute, but also so sad. Hey, isn't this the library? Why don't we just drop down? I know that seems like it would be a little bit crazy, but... I think we could survive a, a seven-foot drop. A cure slime. I no longer like these things. Cure slimes, ground lightning AoE. What else do you got? We should survive. But like, a heal slime, we can kill- oh, and it's got four. We can kill a heal slime in one hit. A cure slime, that's a little bit better armor. Don't be calling your fucking slime buddies. I mean, the experience was nice, but... Go to sleep, little slime buddy. And dream of Jessica. Slamming her buttocks into your face over and over and over. That ability is bullshit. Just for the record, I want to say. See, the AI knows that it can't kill that thing in one hit, so it decides to put it to sleep. No, Yangus, kill it. And why does your scythe disappear when you cast spells? I have so many questions right now. Where does it go? Or your axe, whatever fucking weapon you've got. Plump! Uh, heal up. Might as well. The enemies here don't exactly terrify me, but at the same time... I fully expect one of them to be able to completely screw us over. It appears to be locked from the inside. Of course it would be. Why wouldn't it be locked? If we could open it, then we could also probably jump in through the hole in the top of the roof there. But since we can do neither, it must mean we've got to go the long way around. You're going to have to explore this whole place. And steal all of the treasures from King Trode. Okay. Survey says behind this door is... A bookshelf. What do you got? A recipe? You've got absolutely nothing for me. Yangus examines the bookshelf and doesn't see anything interesting. A hunter mech? What the hell? Has this kingdom always had robots in it? Assholes. Assholes with your magic. Can I run? I can run. 
Awesome. This room was garbage. I regret... You know what? I re I'm just gonna auto-heal. I regret ever coming into this room. I'd prefer if Angelo wasn't the one chosen to use his MP. I don't have much say in the matter. Can I open this door? It's locked. And none of our keys seem to work, unfortunately. There's another mental note. Trodane Castle has a treasure pit. For those of you keeping track, that is Red's place. I want to say Pick'em and Trodane Castle. Help keep me updated as we as we progress through the game, folks. Eventually we'll get a key that can open those doors or something, I'm sure, and I'll probably forget by then. Some of you might watch all of these episodes within a day or two. Maybe a week. When it's been weeks to months. For me recording them, so much time passes between videos sometimes. It's hard for me to remember everything that went on. Infernal armors. Uh, we're going to attack them. I don't want to try to run. I think we can destroy them easy enough. Do you ever fail to call back up? Ever. It's a simple question. I'm just curious. Nice. Cure Slime will top one of them off, I'm sure of it. Rusted Sword into the ground. Does the worst attack we have ran into in the game thus far. Oh wow, we got lucky. Say goodnight, Cure Slime. You never should have stepped foot into this fight. Four hundred and thirty experience. Angelo's level level nineteen. Ten MP. Wow. Six wisdom. He learns zing. He can revive people now. Holy crap! The higher levels of staves, he learns how to neutralize opponents' spells. Hmm. At the highest level of swords, he can use demonic swords. That's great. Allows you to execute hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques so powerful they border on miraculous. And they continue to blindly dump into bows. He becomes an arrow sniper and he learns a needle shot. The only thing I'm seriously considering dumping skills into is hand-to-hand -hand or fisticuffs. Yangus pricked his finger on a thorn. What the fuck? No one told you to touch these guys. Just look at them. Soldier sleeps like the dead. The holy protection wears off. For a second I thought I found something on that dresser and I was slightly happy. So is this entire way a dead end? Hmm. Color me a little bit sad. Surely there's no cockroaches and rodents here. They would have been turned into some type of vine monster by now. Okay, so that leads back to... Courtyard. I was gonna cuss if it locked automatically. The door automatically locks behind you. Hmm. Is this the training room? Dinner hall maybe or something? I don't know. Ouch! Yangus pricks his finger on that thorn. Quit pricking your finger, you sadistic bastard. 
Genghis likes a bit of pain. And that door is locked as well. We get to it through the main hall, apparently. Oh, infernal armors. They're too stunned to move. Well, in that case, kill them. Maybe they'll drop something useful for us. I'm going to have to end the video here in a minute and get another drink. It's Christmas Day. I think I've recorded like four or five videos today. I'm burning through this game at a pace I normally don't reach with video games. Which is kind of shocking to me personally. Let's see. The only other game I even record close to this amount is Dark Souls 3. Or any of the Dark Souls games whenever I'm not stuck at a box. When I get stuck at a boss, well, all rules are off. I might go weeks before I'm able to record again. Also, I think I need to go out this door. Hmm. This entire path led simply to a mini metal, I'm pretty sure. Don't go that way. You poor maiden. The maid's face is frozen in fear. As if she could see what her hands were turning into. Before it paralyzed her completely. Are you the only things here that are like capable of offering me a fight? I don't I don't care for that. I don't care for that. None of this is acceptable. Chair slime's not acceptable. The critical hits, or well, the hits on her aren't acceptable. Fighting these things is no longer acceptable. If they get a critical hit, it'll definitely be not acceptable. Can one of you die? Is that on the menu today? Do we not get to have that meal? Angela draws the soul out of the monster. Absorbing its essence is MP. Some type of... He is the devil, the red devil. He steals their souls in order to heal our group. It's kind of spooky. Bonk. Another one down. 95 hit point heal. How beautiful is that? Do you see why I'm not mixing herbs? into strong medicine anymore. Slime, I swear to God. If you fool heal one of them, we will send you to Mori's to fight in his monstrous monster pit until you can no longer take it. There are worse things than instant death. The Infernal Armor drops a treasure chest, and this is another suit of iron armor. Are you telling me I can't bust that beautiful pot open? I feel robbed. There's no response. She's warm to the touch. What do we got here, Gov? This is a diary of an aristocrat. Young Plump has already secured a position in the palace guard. Quite impressive for a lad who started out as a live-in servant. I never would have imagined that a total stranger could be appointed to the palace guard. Princess Medea seems to have taken notice of the boy as well. I suspect the position is a perfect fit for him. Hmm, is that true, Gov? Did you catch the eye of the princess horseface back there? No wonder you want to turn her back 
to a human so well, or so much, or so strongly, I don't know what word to choose here. Plump, Plump wants a piece of the old Ospus, is that what it is? Well, why didn't you say so, Gov? I could have been your best wingman. Is this place going to be some type of maze? A maze of empty rooms filled with vines and vine people. It's a book entitled Secrets of Alchemy. A surprising number of people seem to neglect the lowly moonwort bulb, letting it roll about in their bags unused, untouched, and unloved. If this sounds familiar, you might want to try putting three moonwort bulbs in your alchemy pot. Combining unused items in order to save space is one of the fundamental uses of the alchemy pot. Okay. I mean, I did try to do some stuff with the moonwort bulbs, but it never actually turned out. What the hell did I... Monster team? I didn't even see that there. Huh. Death moves and other abilities? What the fuck am I missing here? <laughs> Maybe I do need to go capture some more monsters so we can fiddle around with that some more. So I'm gonna guess that three medicinal herbs would obviously make something. Maybe three cheese would make something. And all I've got is the moon, three moonwort balls. So we'll throw all of them in. Because why not? I'm gonna laugh my ass off if that creates like magic water or something. Hey, a mini metal. If that creates magic water, I will probably spend some time off screen smashing a whole bunch of them together. Just because. Having MP restoring abilities in a dungeon is the difference between life and death. It's the difference between evacuating, going to a town, and having to make your way three floors again. And staying there and surviving until you get to the boss. I'm starting to feel like our team has turned into a bunch of real assholes. When it comes to status effects and stuff. We don't particularly leave the enemy a whole lot of openings anymore. If we can help it. Okay. There's a whole lot of rooms behind me that... Hmm. You know, I don't think so. We're not going to go explore them just yet. I fully believe at some point we will undo the curse in this castle. Considering the fact these people aren't dead. As it tells us every time we check... Some of them. So we will explore those back rooms later. That guy looks plenty, plenty alive. He was running towards the weapon. Holder thing. It's not the armory rack. Maybe it is. But he didn't make it. Curse seems to have sent him into a deep sleep. Poor lady. She's standing quietly, almost as if she had always been a plant. How horrible. Stuck out here as plant people, exposed to the elements for eternity. How long has it been since this happened? I wonder. A month? Two months? Three months? Surely it hasn't been a year. Wait, is that really lead all the way here? So that's a dead end that way. I don't even see a treasure chest down there to run and open up. Okay. So this would lead... This would lead to the library that we need to go check. So before we go there, I want to go... Uh, I think there's a door down here that we need to open. Oh my god! The enemies don't notice our presence because there's so fucking many of them. We sneak by unnoticed. Well, who the hell are you? 
Oh, my poor minister. The curse has deformed you, too. Although, it was unleashed in the middle of the night. So what were you doing in the courtroom? On my throne! So, you enjoy the feeling of being enthroned, do you? Well, your secret is out now, you frivolous old fool! I was curious why he would be on the throne. That answers that. What type of chancellor hasn't wanted to, you know, be king for a day? Okay, so that opens that door. Which, if I'm lucky, will stay open and be a shortcut forever. Quick, Jess. Unleash a fireball and burn that door down. I'm still not entirely sure what threat these things pose. They don't do that much damage. They're quick, but that can't be their only their only strength. That might be. You're going to see me guessing enemies' strengths and weaknesses throughout the entire game, wondering what type of bullshit they have up their sleeve just waiting to unleash on us. The hunter mech drops a treasure chest. It's a hunter's bow. Okay. Is that good? What, what say you, Angelo? No, you've already got it. Okay. Well, fine, Mr. Fancy Pants. We didn't want you to have a new bow anyways. Bunch of dead people. Ooh. It's barrel inspection time. Excuse me. 150 gold coins. No sign of rats anywhere, but some mini metals. Which are just as dangerous. They truly harbor the... The demon soul of a monster. It's best that we find them and... Root them out wherever they come from. An infernal armor with his lone cure slime. That Jess tries to charm right off the bat. Unfortunately for her, it is having none of it. It's already infatuated with its infernal armor, which it will soon be joining in hell. We ain't having any of it. Okay, so this should lead to the library. I think I'm gonna save the game. Well, not save the game, but I'm gonna end the video here. And whenever we come back, we're gonna go through that door. And we're gonna listen to probably a whole bunch of exposition and dialogue and... Who knows what else about this boat. Surely we're gonna find something out about it. Send us on another three hour long quest to get it to the ocean or something.